Welcome to William Scrope 91. Hello and uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the today's air show at the Royal Hollington of the 2nd of November air show. Of course, anyway, this is a lot of perfection and remembrance. You can see that all the, some of the armed forces have been been uh, donated, some of the poppies, anyway, just a little bit to honor those that are remembered during the end of the First World War. Many of those lives are lost and some have been used on many other services that have been deployed in recent years. And so coming into Raw now from your right hand side is the Nimrod MRA4. Those Nimrods are currently used for maritime patrol and attack aircraft and tend to replace the Nimrod MR2. These are uh, purposely rebuilt in 2004. These are ultimately cancelled in 2010 as a result of strategic defense and security review, which is 789 million pounds of a budget and over nine years late. No direct replacement was just about any of those ones. And they were, they, used, they were filled by existing assets such as the Type 23 frigates and the Merlin helicopter. However, Royal Air Force announced they used to replace the Nimrod with their PA Poseidon. It's a cost of three billion pounds. These aircraft were delivered between 2019 and 2022 that operate from our air force in Scotland. So, if, if you could see that the, the aircraft, which is I mean, still in use of the Royal Air Force, and ladies and gentlemen, now coming, uh, no, taking off is uh, the big 21. Big said Big 23. It's the Big Koyami 23. So that the uh, some of the and Big 31. Mig 31s are first introduced in 1981 and have been in service with the, the uh, Russian Aerospace Forces that are used on the Syrian Air Force. This is flown by Captain uh, Stefan Portisol or Pesich. Uh, so anyway, just and uh, anyway, you can see that the aircraft are coming in now, pulling up, doing an oblique, turning an inverted for an inverted pass. You can hear that these powerful, uh, the powerful, the uh, the aircraft that they used. Some of the ones that they like, uh, the big 31 that they used was after burning turbo fan engines. So that the aircraft had been used with serial production of big 31. So they used upgrade programs I found in the big 31 BM multiple versions with upgraded the honest new multi mode radar, hands on throttle and stick hotels. They could crystal, which is used for uh, the LCD multifunctional display. Missiles and various Russian air to ground missiles, such as the gauge, that you want anti radiation missile. So, the aircraft at this, you can see that 
doing a uh, barrel roll that's just about to use the courtesy now. It's successful from the MiG-29 Fulcrums, which they uh, currently used on some of the uh, other Air Force that they've been deployed. Nice barrel roll. Barrel away from us now. As you can see that the aircraft is now pulling up into a uh, half Cuban, uh, 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 which is, of course, some of the ones that are the half horizontal. And diving down to, uh, to 300 feet, 600 miles an hour, with reheat from these two after vintage of an engine. And see that bending away from our crowd right. And for a final approach into land, so you can see that the aircraft is going to get this gear down for a final approach. Ladies and gentlemen, the Syrian Air Forces, MiG-21, coming into that. So, with the uh, Nimrod MRA-4, it's now going to indicate to clear to land after it's uh, flying around to check that the airspace is clear. So hopefully, there hopefully any incursions might happen during the year show. So, for security reasons, so hopefully that the air show will go on. So this is German from our right, coming into land, the Syrian Air Forces MiG-31 with a very remarkable display. So, uh, in uh, 2024, which is celebrating the 80th anniversary of the D-Day decoy tactics, so which they took place during the Normandy landings. So, the, uh, and of course, some of the 75th anniversary of NATO, which is, of course, some of the uh, ones that they sell to national countries, which uh, NATO provides with the opportunity with the air and space capabilities with the Royal Air Force. And coming into land now, whilst the MiG-31 is cleared the runway, the Nimrod MRA-4 from Royal Air Force's Los Amana. So hopefully land here at the runway at our airport. So ladies and gentlemen now, you can see that the aircraft is there for landing. Landing the gear is done. You can see some of the extra bits hanging out of those tails. You can see that probably some kind of radar and of course some of the uh, upgraded engines from the Rolls-Royce Spey engines. Because of course some of the aircraft that the MRA for which is took over by the Poseidon which is of course some of the aircraft that they use alongside the uh, Airbus Voyagers and the RC-135 River Joints. We're going to land the MRA-4. Next item, which is of course the final item for today's display, is the US Navy's FA-18 Hornet. Which has been served by Captain Thomas Smith or Smithy from the air base at the um, Quebec. So they're doing some the ones like uh, places such as uh, outside Washington Air Base. So as the Nimrod is about to clear its way 
It's a fantastic opportunity to get another loud aircraft with two uh, louder, more powerful General Electric F404 turbofan engines. 20, 25,000 each of thrust of these two to make it. To make it 50,000 pounds of the thrust of these two. Rolling and coming up to the runway now. The United States Navy F 18 Hornet. F-18 on its own, well, uh, it, it, uh, it's a supersonic twin-engine carrier born fighter. Some of the ones they use historical use in the Navy. They're deployed in the United States Marine Corps and the Spanish and Air and Space Force using the, what they call EF. Which is of course the EF-18 Hornet. So anyway, they're gonna, you can see that the aircraft, the F-18 Hornets, is they used the air, uh, the aircraft. Which is of course some of the aircraft that they currently used on, uh, uh, used on tactical weapons forces, and of course some of the aircraft. Coming at lower than 600 miles an hour, just about to do a four point hesitation roll. And pulling hard at 8G. This is an oblique loop, so it's called an oblique loop. You can see that the aircraft is a uh, taken off of a prototype of the F. 17. The F-18 is probably its sophisticated design of this aircraft. Of course, which is built by McDonnell Douglas, is now part of Boeing. And so it's in terms of the city. The aircraft is now, uh, now coming over around for another barrel roll. Now the aircraft are powering down its two General Electric turbofan engines and ready for what we call a slow speed high alpha pass. So, as you can see, that the aircraft is now being deployed on elsewhere on other air forces, including the Finnish Air Force, the Spanish Air Force, and the Switzerland Air Force, of course, some of the ones, Swiss ones they use today. There is a 17 Empire, Swedish Stahl, which is, of course, they're based in Switzerland. Some of the aircraft are probably used for genius tactical advantage, some of the aircraft they use today. The F 18 Hornet is a truly remarkable aircraft. This is a high alpha pass. So, as they go to turn up uh, the aircraft onto its other position of the place, and so you can see that the aircraft is now turning away with full power with these two. Uh, General Electric Turbo Jet Engines. So you can see that the aircraft is now doing an oblique roll.
And you'll see that the aircraft is now positioned for a low level high speed pass and hopefully it'll go clear to that. So you'll see that the mark on the end of the air show the 2nd of November 2023 with a remark and wait again. United States Navy F eighteen C on it. The but the display's not over yet. Oh sorry about that. The display's not over, we've got a we've got the dirty configuration barrel bomb coming up here. Because this is not the end of the show. You can see that the aircraft so don't rush off. The aircraft's still not over. Just stay where you are or Anyway, you can go to your car and travel home and enjoy the day. Uh, enjoy the day. Coming up into a square loop and watch if that pilot, like what the Swiss Air Force does, what they call a pirouette. Now it down, it's down to a display height. So, ladies and gentlemen, you can see that the aircraft is now for the butt to got its gear down for its final approach to land. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed this air show display. This is the final finale to the show display and draw to a close. I hope you do. The air show will probably run again, probably at some point during the course. Ladies and gentlemen, you can see that the aircraft is now touching to land, and so the FA-18 Hornet from the US Navy. I need to remind everyone that for your safety and security, please make sure you can take your belongings with you. If you notice any suspicious report to a member of personnel, and calls the police. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the issue. So, I hope we'll see you again next year. Thank you very much for watching your videos, and please like and subscribe to William Scrope 91.